Hello and welcome to Balls Knowledge. It's a brand new quiz that I'm doing all in aid of Prostate Cancer UK. It's a quiz with your favourite creators and the goal is raise some funds, help save lives. That'd be fantastic. The goal is there's three rounds and the highest score wins. Every single episode I'll have at least one creator on and the more answers they get right, the more points they get. And just let me know who you want to see as well. So this week we have Joe Wayneman from the Just Joe Football Show. Hello, how are Hi. you doing? Nervous. <laughs> Nervous. We, um, were we were discussing before this how you thought yes. you might be a little bit like, oh dear, this might yes. not go too well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been here before though. I did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on uh, Louis Sisson stuff and I was the same then. I managed to get... Um, the first question was, which um, car acronym can be linked to Leeds United? And I got it wrong, um, but it's MOT. Um, matching on together. That, that's and I got that wrong, mate, because <laughs> so I was like, yeah, as, that wasn't the best that. I, I was thinking car brands. My brain went BMW. Yeah, yeah. I think I said all leads I wear. <laughs> but yeah. But me and Oscar won a million, actually. So yeah, that so that'll do. Curious. There you go. Yeah, exactly. You got all the way. Yeah. 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 So we've got three rounds. The first round is Leeds United, the basics. The second is a nice higher or lower. And the third is the long list where we talk about a specialist subject that the creator gave me for this week. Okay. You specifically said uh, the Bielsa slash Marsh years. I decided yes. to be a little bit mean. We've gone mainly Marsh. <laughs> I like but that. we'll find out how that goes. So <laughs> let's dive into round one, which is okay. Leeds United, the basics. So okay. these are the quite nice ones. These are the ones that I would hope that you get. So first up, when were Leeds United formed? 1919. 1919. Great start. We've, yes! We've got one. That'll do. <laughs> Which current Leeds United player has the most appearances for the club? Liam Cooper. There's two. There we go. <laughs> it, it's easier than you thought it would be. Oh, yeah. It will get harder. Okay, it will. okay. <laughs> and I apologise in advance. Okay. Uh, can you name the club's mascot? Um, oh, oh, God. This isn't one of the hard ones. <laughs> no, it isn't. Um, it's, um, oh, see, I've got, yeah, I was going to go, but it's Lucas the Cop Cat. I was going to go it Ellie is. the Elephant. That's all that was in my head, like, and I was going, oh, no, oh, no. But yeah, Lucas the Cop Cat, sorry. Okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> call that, we'll call that a three out of three so far. <laughs> Panic. What's the name? of the Amazon series about Leeds United that happened from 2018 to 2020, not Academy Dreams? Uh, take Us Home. I'll accept it, because technically it's Take Us Home, Leeds United, but it's fine. It's, <laughs> I give it's, it's, <laughs> if I was being a dick, I would have gone for that, but yes. we're good. Who's the club's current chairman? Parag Marate? It's Parag Marate. Five out of five so far. Okay. What was the club that disbanded that led to Leeds United forming? L Leeds FC? Final no, no Leeds, Leeds City, sorry. It's Leeds City. It's Leeds City. Leeds sorry. City. Yeah. I gave you a moment because I know that you know it, so yes. I'm not going to... Yeah, 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 sorry. I'm not going to go too <laughs> hard. We're, we're fine. Right, now we go a little bit more present day. Now we're beyond Leeds, the basics, the history. Okay. We're on now. Okay. Who captained Leeds United in their most recent match? Ethan Ampadu. Ethan Ampadu. This is this is where we get a little bit meaner. Okay. Uh, who has the best shot accuracy for Leeds United this season? And a couple of caveats: the need to have had at least five shots and two hundred minutes. It's definitely not Rutter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, somehow we slip through the cracks yeah, on that yeah. one. <laughs> I'm just going to go because of the amount of shots I think he will have taken and goals scored. I'm going to go Cree Somerville. It is not Cree Somerville. I'm just going to, because I, I didn't check like the side ones, but I know that it isn't Cree Somerville. The correct answer is Patrick Bamford on 46.5%. Damn. And I knew that I was doing this quiz at some point soon. And... Um, I've been very specifically, every time I've been on your channel recently, I've had this stat in mind and I've been like, I'm going to ask a question on that. And I've specifically brought it up whenever I can to be like, let's see if he's picked up on it. Let's see if he's gotten it. My, my little maybe Piru isn't the better centre forward flex that I go for there. Uh, Somerville, 35.5%. 
Okay. And uh, the reason I had to put those like technicalities in there is the player that has at least like five, at least two hundred minutes. Sorry, that uh, is at the top. Liam Cooper. He's not oh, missed wow. a shot this season. Nice, nice. Seven, he seven when he scored one as well. I think right. He did. Yeah. He's yeah. he's had two shots all season. One of them went in, and the other was yeah. on target anyway. So nice. Maybe we maybe we stick him up top. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the oldest? Charlie Cresswell. Jorginho Ruta, Leo Hjelda, or Joe Gellhart? I'm, I'm going to go with Charlie Creswell. We're going with Charlie Creswell. Of the players on that list, Charlie Creswell is the second youngest. Wow. Is it Joffy? It's not Joffy. Wow, okay. It's Ruter, who wow. is 14 days older than Joe Gellhart. Oh, so it's very close. Then. It's right, very okay. close, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're at the point where I'm getting a little bit mean. Right, okay, uh, fair. But it's fine. And your final question. We've covered ages of players. Yeah. Let's do another one. How old was Archie Gray when he was first in the matchday squad? And for bonus points, who against? I know this. He was 15 year old. No. Yeah, no, he was. He was 15 and it was against Arsenal and he was on the bench. He was. He was 15. It was against Arsenal. And I've been nice with that because I know it was quite a harsh bonus question. So I've given you an extra five points for it. Oh, nice. Nice. I'll tell that. So <laughs> out of 15 in that first section, that's a nice cozy 13. That's not too bad. I'll take that, mate. I'm happy with that. Really am. I'm glad. Yeah, I, I was going to say, how are we feeling confident at this point? Are we? How are we yeah, feeling going actually. into round two? Yeah, yeah. What was higher or lower? Mm, maybe not higher so or lower. But, but it's a 50-50 guess, right? So we're good. It is. Yeah. Some of these, not the kindest questions I could think up. Right, Some okay. of these I've thought, that's a very weird fact. I can't believe that myself. And I've gone for okay. it. But Right. And for a little bit of clarity, all of this uh, data has come from LUFC data. Just... So I've got like a, yeah. I rely on that one yeah. quite well. It covers all <laughs> matches. I'm not going to trust whoscored.com with some of this stuff. No, fair. So first up, we're going to start with the number of appearances Cody Drummy had, which was 10. Okay. And I've just realized I've not jotted down enough questions. <laughs> But I did have a backup, which is fine. There we go. Cody Drummond had 10 appearances for Leeds United throughout his career. Did Brendan Aronson have more or less shots on target at Leeds United than 10? I know this because I know you've mentioned this before, and I believe it to be less than 10. It is less than 10. Do you know the number that it is? Two. It's nine. Nine, okay. Somehow, nine shots on target. This this, this is the margins we're going to be working in for most right, of okay. this, by the way. It's yep. it's it's not it's not friendly. Um, how many goals has Joel Piru scored for Leeds United? All competitions. More or less than nine. Oh, more, more. Sorry, more. I thought you were asking me for a specific number. I was thinking. No, 12. sorry, it's yeah, it, yeah it's yeah, higher so or no. Higher or oh, that was on me. Time, yeah. yeah, sorry. Uh, high, higher, yeah, he's got more than nine. Yeah. Okay, that's two out of two. Strong start. How many sub appearances in his Leeds United career has Jamie Shackleton had? More or less than eleven? See, my, my logic is I'm thinking he's only ever, ever really used. I'm going to go less, mate, actually. Less might... than 11 subs for Jamie Shackleton throughout his Leeds career. <laughs> the way that final you said answer. that made me think it might be more. But the it, way No, that... is, is it your final answer? Yeah, I'm going to go less. Yeah, I am. Because I think if he gets used, he'll have been... Played. I don't see Jamie. I'm trying to think even under Bielsa, he was more like he would start at right back. This might sound wild as people are watching this, but I'm going to go less. 53. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> I'm overthinking this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wanted to get in the Brendan Aronson stat, but all the other stuff that I'd prepared was a lot higher. So I was like, you all know right. what? We'll we'll chuck in one that's the big leap. Yeah. 53. No, for me. Yeah, yeah. I just was thinking, right, well, he spent a loan on Millwall. Has he been used that much this season? Probably not off the bench. Maybe started a few at the start of the season. Bielsa are the same, but I was way off. Sorry, my bad. It's fine. It's fine. People tend to like Jamie Shackleton. People have a very different opinion on Diego Llorente. How many yeah. starts for Leeds United did Diego Llorente have? More or less than 53? That's a really hard one. That is really hard. Now, I did a video yesterday. And Elder Costa made over... F I think he made a total of 43 appearances in the championship over the season. So I'm thinking about Llorente's longevity with us. Would he have made more than 50? 50 is a big amount. Like 50 up. I'm going to go less, bro. Going less. Yes. Diego Llorente started for Leeds United 56 times. Ah, damn. This is very hard. <laughs> yeah. This this is this is the test episode. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always going to say if anyone Well, it is really. They can... Shackleton probably 90% of people get Shackleton. I'm just like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I can see why you overthought it though because yeah, right yeah. before I said that that we're going with tight margins for yeah, most yeah. of them. Uh -huh. Not that one. That one might no. be my bad. <laughs> uh but I'm also going to say, open invite. If you're a creator and you want to come on, you can come on. Yeah. If you're Joe and things aren't going too well in the higher or lower section, you can come on again to improve <laughs> your score. It's all good. 56 starts for Diego Llorente. How many goals has Patrick Bamford scored for Leeds United? More got, or less than 56? It's more. It's got to be more. It's got to be more. Final answer? Yes, more. 59. Yep, absolutely. We're, yeah. we're picking it up. Yeah. When you yeah, think, when you take out the Shackleton one, yeah, which let's be honest, bit of a stinker. Yeah. You've only got one wrong in the higher or lower. Nice, I like that. I like we're, we're fine. Patrick Bamford might have scored fifty nine goals for Leeds United, but what's Daniel Farker's win percentage at Leeds? I think it's higher or lower than fifty nine. It's the best, but. It's the best. It's definitely the best. Um, 60, that's a lot, though. Oh, God. See, I'm trying to do maths, but I'm, sh I'm rubbish at maths, so it's pointless <laughs> me trying to do maths. Um, <laughs> right. We've played 28 games. And I don't. I'm, it includes don't, cup matches. And cup matches as well. Less. Daniel Farker's win percentage at Leeds is 63.64. Wow. I was higher. Thinking, can't be 60. It can't be, but wow, yeah. It, it's He's been really good. Yes, he basically. has. Basically. Yeah. Even when we've been saying that we've had like slumps in form, we've won the matches. So Yeah, true, true. That's probably tainted it a little bit or something. So we all quite like Daniel Farker. Another manager we all quite liked uh, was Marcelo Bielsa. Did you get more or less total wins than 63? It's got to be more. It's got to be more. Yeah. It's, it's more. It's a fairly yeah. comfy more. It's 80. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, so Bielsa, he won a lot of his matches. Yes, yes, yeah. Someone else that got Leeds United promoted was Simon Grayson. Did he have more or less total wins with Leeds United? Marcelo Bielsa. Less. Marcelo Bielsa had 80 wins with Leeds. Simon Grayson, 84. Ah. Very slightly more. Okay, four more. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's not, it's not, it, it, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah. No. So, 84 wins for Leeds. What doesn't happen when you concede a lot of goals is you don't win. You tend to lose matches. How many goals did Leeds concede last season? More or less than 84? Ooh. The, the mad thing is we conceded a lot of we goals. We conceded lots of goals. Is this in the all competitions as well? Like we This just... is Premier League. Well, we can... 
I can't remember. No, that was Bielsa when we conceded the most goals in a month. But that also, I don't know if we broke our own record, but again, that was under Bielsa. It was still not great. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to, so 86, did you say? 84. 84. I'm going to say less because 84 is a hell of a lot of goals. Like, Surely we didn't concede 84 in a 38-game season. Thankfully not. We conceded 78, which is still not good. Yes, yeah, still not the best. Bad, really bad. Yeah. And finally, for the higher or lower section, we've been a bit better this season. We're in the championship. Yeah. How many goals have we scored so far this championship season? More or less than 78? I know this as well. I think it's. I think we've scored in the 60s, maybe two. So we might have scored 70 actually, 68, 70. So I think I think it's less. But I'm gonna, for a bonus point, tell you that we've scored 70 bang on. It is less, and I'm very tempted to take a point off you because it's oh. not 70 bang on at 72. 72. So ah, they were the two I did. I added them to 68. Didn't I'm I? gonna be nice. I'm not gonna take it off you. Okay. Although cool. I'm very, very tempted. <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five. Out of those ten questions, you got six. That could have been worse. That could have been significantly yeah. worse. Yeah, I think I've done all right there. But now, now we get to the long list. Yeah. The final round. How for, how are we feeling going into it? The yeah, last couple well, of questions have been recent. It's a bit yeah. marshy. So... Yeah, you asked me for my specialist subject. As everybody knows, my memory is diabolical. So I asked for the good, the bad, and the ugly dinner. I said the Bielsa to Marsh. Let's go. Because that's when I've done content. So that's when I've taking the most information in because I speak about it. So, yeah, and then you've you've done Marsh, haven't you? But, yeah, I think it's recent, so I can't really complain. Like, if you had stats on, for, for example, he might be able to, like, do yeah. the Revy era. But, yeah, Marsh, I should do well because it is recent, mate. So, we didn't win much football in the Marsh era at all. We didn't win much football in Bielsa's final season at the club. No. There are 12 clubs that we did beat between the 2021 like and 22 season and the 22 and the 23 season. So is this when Marsh came in? This is Bielsa and from Marsh. the start of that season. Right. With Including the, any wins Bielsa got in that season. Okay. Okay. Right. And that's the long list. We've got 12 clubs. If you get all of them right, that's 15 points. I don't think I will, but I'll try. I, th I think it's going to be a toughie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, I'm going to go with Marsh wins. Chelsea definitely won. Right? We beat them 3 now. He beat Liverpool. He did beat Liverpool. He beat Bournemouth. He did beat Bournemouth. He beat Brentford on the final day of the previous season. We're at four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now it's getting tricky, because I don't remember many Jesse Marsh wins. Um, okay, so... To be fair, there weren't many. No, yeah, one, no. no one remembers any of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and we're talking when Allardyce, Gracia, and that was in as well, right? Yeah, last yeah. two seasons. Okay, I don't know if they won any games. Did Gracia win a game? I, I remember Gracia won at least one, because yeah, I was there, and I thought we might be okay, and then we yeah. weren't okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember that. We got a draw against... Brighton, and I think we won't beat someone the week before that. Something's telling me Watford. We did beat Watford. Oh, get in. Um, so that's five of the 12. Okay, I'm going to take a speculative stab in the dark at Burnley. Beat Burnley, yep. Okay. Now, I've got Newcastle, but I know that they beat us. They beat us at Ellen Road, one of Bielsa's... Like, that was the one that sent Eddie Howe up and us down, like, sort of. That's the one where Dan James got basically stood on and the ref just didn't see it and VAR just didn't care as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so... What I'm going to say as well is you've got two lives if you get a third wrong. Right, okay. Gone. That's cool. All right, so... I'm going to say Southampton. Southampton is, yep, 7 okay. of 12. 
Okay, we're doing well. Um, okay, let me just... Now, we didn't beat them. No, no. Sorry, I'm just... I'm looking... I'm like, in my mind, I've got the Premier League table in my mind. So, so I've got... So I'm trying to work up from this season. So I'm like going, right, okay. So we drew against them. Um, Chelsea beats Spurs. No. Um, Wolves. We, we did beat, beat Wolves. Wolves. Yeah, I remember what a game that was, by the way. Yeah, we did beat Wolves 3-2, wasn't it, I think. Um, yeah, so Wolves is up there. Um This is a shout. No, because they beat us. No, no, we beat them because I remember getting clipped up by Forest fans after we went down. So we beat Nottingham Forest. 1-0, I think it was. We did beat Not Nottingham Forest. I don't know the score. I didn't keep that there. I've just got yeah, a list of teams. I think it was 1-0 because I was going, that's Forest down. And I got clipped up when we went down. Um, so, yeah. Um, that, that, that'd do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, so... We've got three to go. I've done all right. I'm quite proud of myself. Um, I'm just trying to think of some relegated teams uh, that might have bounced back. Oh, West Brom. No. Is that no? Damn. West Brom, we did not beat in either of those no. seasons. I don't think they were even in the Premier League for those seasons. Were no, they, they weren't. I you're right, because we beat we, them five. Yeah, we beat them the year the before season that. Before. Yeah. yeah, you're right, mate. Because um, they had Allardyce in then as well, didn't they? Um, okay. That's one of your lives gone. Yeah. Two to go. See, in my mind, right, I've got Brighton, but they were always our kryptonite. I've got Palace. I don't know if we beat them earlier on in the season, but obviously they beat us because that was the game where they like slapped us up. Um, so you've got Southampton, you've got Newcastle. I don't think we beat Leicester because I know Bamford missed that chance. Um, I'm just trying to think now. So you've got Brentford, which I've given Brentford. Um, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stab in the dark, and I'm gonna say Leicester City. We did not beat Leicester Didn't City. I think we did. Fuck. So this is the last one now, isn't it? This is the last one. Okay. Um, so it gets tough. Um, there's teams that I can't even think of, though. That's what's really frustrating me. Um, in the Premier League, even. so. Honestly, when I was going through this list, I was like, I forgot that was a club. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, I purely from a I've not watched the Premier League all season point right, of view. Okay. I, I've not so paid still attention there. to you in so forever. Still there. Still... You give me a clue. They could um, be. I'll give you. I'll give you a little bit of a clue. One Championship, two Premier League. Okay. Okay. Um. Right. Well, this should be easy, Joe. Now, because you know the club. So, what's the Championship one? Um. I've already gone Southampton, Wester. Who else is down there? That sh oh, of course I remember this. Joffe, Norwich City, man. Joffe, Norwich How City. How could you forget there this? There we go. Wow. We're up to 10. Two to go, one life. Okay. In theory, you can get another five points. With yeah, I know, right? Your next words. <laughs> um. So you've got, I've got Wolves. Who else is there, man? I'm trying to think that bottom end of the Premier League. Um, what's going on here, man? Why can't I think of the team? Oh, Everton! No, they beat us, didn't they? Seamus Coleman, 1 0. That's your third life. Damn. Go on. There we go. I shouldn't have shouted. I shouldn't have blurted that out. Go on. What, what was it? The other teams. Yeah. Ah. West Ham. Ah. Jack Harrison hat trick. Oh, man. And one that I completely forgot. This is the team that I forgot. Palace. I said Palace, man. I said Palace, but I was convinced that we hadn't beat them. Damn. Okay. I'm still proud of myself. I am, Joe. I can't lie. Yeah. 
It's pretty strong. Yeah. I going into that round, how many did you think you would have gotten? When I first got them first four, I was thinking, damn, now I'm stuck. Like, because I remember obviously the big ones, the Liverpool, the Chelsea. Um I I'm I'm proud of myself that I got did I get ten? Uh yes, you got ten yeah. out of that round. Yeah, I'm which proud is of myself. it's it, yeah. it's it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't complain about that. Mm. Um I'm just gonna be one very quick second because I decided that I'd do a leaderboard. Even though you're the first one, we might as well. So First round, got yourself 13. Second round, six. Not the best. That's 19. Add that to your 10. Out of 40 potential points, you got yourself a nice little 29. And you're nice. at the very top of the leaderboard. Good, man. So, Good. I know my balls. You do. You do balls. know your balls. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> as my little sign says, don't leave it to chance. Yeah. Might as well get well, checked. I did. I did. Um, I did find um, a lump uh, not too long ago, and went and got it checked straight away. They dealt with it rapid, and it was just um, a bit of scar tissue from where I had my vasectomy. But what I will say, folks, if you do, if you don't check, make sure you do check because it's important. And if you do find something, don't just brush it off. Get you sent straight to the doctors because they dealt with it like that, and I was at the hospital within a week. So yeah, good times. Yeah. It's an area that, like, in terms of health, we don't deal with enough, including, nope. like, the balls, as you've just mentioned, but yes. especially, like, prostate stuff, because everyone's like, it's in the butt. Yeah, yeah. So people are a bit iffy on it. Yeah. But, yeah. How have you enjoyed your time on uh, Balls Knowledge, Joe? Yeah, really enjoyed it, actually. And I'm really looking forward to watching the other episodes to see other people's specialist subjects, what they get up to and that. I'd like you to get stats on and, and see how he does, to be honest. I might I might consider 40 it. 40 out of 40, I reckon. It feels like I'm going to go through a few other people before I... Because yes, I know for a fact that if I go for, like, Lucky and Andrea, yeah. pff, leaderboard's yeah, yeah. done. Andrea After would be that. good. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I think that's part of the plan. But mm. if you are a content creator and you're watching this, ping me a message. I'd love yeah. to, like get more of these out because i quite enjoyed doing it uh yeah hope you enjoyed and uh i've got a donation link down below to prostate cancer uk so if you could just give a couple of quid if you fancy it go for it so like comment subscribe i hope you enjoyed and i will see you later <laughs>